So you want to know what are the best things to do on Miyajima Island, Japan? Great, you are in the right place. In this video, we are going to discuss the top things to do on Miyajima Island, also known as Itsukushima. Number 11, Itsukushima Shrine. Situated on the beautiful shores of Hiroshima Bay, Itsukushima Shrine is famous for its iconic floating Tori Gate. During high tide, the gate appears to float on the water. Visitors can walk under the gate at low tide, but from March to November, high tide covers it, requiring a boat for passage. As you pass beneath the Tori Gate, it is customary to bow twice, clap twice, and bow once, showing respect for the shrine's sacred presence in the calm waters of Hiroshima Bay. Designated as a UNESCO World Heritage Site, the shrine honors the three daughters of the Shinto deity of seas and storms. Number 10. Daishōin Temple Nestled peacefully at the base of Mount Misen, Daishōin Temple feels like a serene sanctuary. It is the 14th stop on the Chugoku 33 Canon pilgrimage. Among its most intriguing features are 500 Buddha statues, each adorned with knitted hats and a large sand mandala created by Tibetan Buddhist priests. Visitors can participate in a Buddhist ritual by spinning sutra wheels along the temple steps, believed to bring blessings similar to reading sacred texts, even without understanding Japanese. Number 9. Senjokaku Pavilion Discover the elegance of Senjokaku Pavilion, also known as Toyokuni Shrine. Constructed by the famed warlord Toyotomi Hideyoshi, this pavilion serves as a solemn memorial to those lost in battle. Do not miss the five-story pagoda, Goju Noto, standing over 88 feet tall. Built in 1407 within the Daisho in Temple Complex, it is among Japan's oldest pagodas and one of the world's oldest surviving wooden towers. Number 8. Mount Misen. Rising 500 meters above sea level, Mount Misen is Miyajima's tallest peak. On clear days, it offers breathtaking views of the Sato Inland Sea and even Hiroshima City in the distance. The Miyajima Ropeway provides the most impressive route to the summit at Shishiwa Station. From there, explore hiking trails and enjoy panoramic views across the sea to Hiroshima. Do not miss the Misen Main Hall and the Hall of the Spiritual Flame, where a perpetual flame lit by Kobo Daishi symbolizes his devotion to mountain worship, also used to ignite the flame of peace in Hiroshima's Peace Park. Number 7. Miyajima History and Folklore Museum The Miyajima History and Folklore Museum offers a glimpse into Miyajima's past. It is housed in a mid-1800s merchant's house, preserving part of its original layout to show how prosperous families lived in the 19th century. On display are artworks, artifacts from the island's shrines and ceremonies, and everyday tools used by locals. The exhibits also cover the island's geography, traditions like festivals, and crafts providing insights into Miyajima's cultural heritage. Number 6. Miyajima Public Aquarium Located at Miyajima's western end, the Miyajima Public Aquarium introduces visitors to marine life from local waters, the Seto Inland Sea, and beyond. It features 380 species, totaling 15,000 aquatic animals, including fish and mammals. Highlights include tanks with finless porpoises native to the Seto Inland Sea, areas mimicking Miyajima's tidal flats, and an exhibit of an oyster farm. The aquarium focuses on interactive experiences, with daily sea lion shows and opportunities to interact with penguins, otters, and seals. Fish and sea lion feeding times offer hands-on experiences with these aquatic creatures. By the way, check the links in the description for the ultimate guide on saving money while you travel, plus recommended tour operators on Miyajima Island. Number 5 hang out with the Miyajima Island Deer. Miyajima Island, also known as Deer Island, is home to over 500 free-roaming deer considered messengers of the gods. These friendly animals may try to grab snacks or items like maps or tickets. Enjoy interacting with them as you explore the island, keeping an eye on your belongings. The deer add charm to your visit with their playful antics. Number four, Momijidani Park. Momijidani Park is unmissable, with paths leading between Itsukushima Shrine and Mount Misen. It is stunning year-round, especially in fall when thousands of red maple leaves create a beautiful carpet beneath nearly 200 maple trees. During October and November, the shrine lights up, showcasing the autumn foliage day and night. Explore the park to encounter more deer 
and do not forget to relax at the old-fashioned tea house nestled within. Number 3. Miyajima Omotesando Shopping Street Omotesando Shopping Street is the lively center of Miyajima, filled with souvenir shops, cozy cafes, and inviting restaurants. Visitors can stroll leisurely and enjoy local specialties like ajimamiji and grilled conjure eel fish paste unique to the region. One notable attraction is the world's largest wooden rice scoop, stretching an impressive 25 feet long. You will also find a post office where you can send postcards back to your hotel or home. Souvenir hunters will appreciate the stores selling local crafts, such as Miyajima rice paddles and carvings. Number two, try the local oysters. Miyajima's oysters are a special delicacy highly regarded for their plump texture, sweet flavor, and freshness. They thrive in the island's pristine waters and are enjoyed raw or cooked, often grilled or in dishes like oyster rice and stew. Their quality and taste make them a sought-after treat for visitors to Miyajima Island. Number one, Momiji Manju. A popular Japanese treat originating from Miyajima Island, Momiji Manju are small buckwheat and rice cakes shaped like maple leaves and filled with sweet red bean paste. These cute cakes are a specialty found in souvenir shops along Omori Sando Shopping Street and other tourist areas on the island. Served fresh and warm, they are a delightful snack while exploring Miyajima's scenic beauty and cultural sights. I hope that helped you plan your trip. Before you go, I have a little something special for you. I'm going to show you how to travel the world on a very low budget, no matter your financial situation. You don't know me, but I've been traveling the world for the past eight years, visiting over 130 countries on less than $15 a day. I'm able to travel so cheaply because I know how to find the best deals, use local resources, and leverage little-known travel hacks that can save you thousands of dollars. I've developed a proven system that has not only worked for me, but for thousands of other travelers. This system has nothing to do with credit card hacking, working remote jobs, or relying on travel points. It's all about practical, actionable steps that anyone can take, regardless of their background or experience. The only reason I'm sharing this is that I wish someone had given me this guide when I started. I want to help more people experience the joy of travel. Here's what will happen once you know these hacks. You'll be able to travel more often and experience new cultures. You can even travel long term, seeing the world over extended periods without financial strain. You'll be able to go on adventures and explore new destinations. You can tick items off your bucket list without worrying about the costs. You'll get to meet new friends from different parts of the world. You'll fill your Instagram post with amazing photos and have cool stories that make others jealous. Does all these sound awesome to you? Great, because I've created an ebook called How to Travel the World for Almost Free that will help you do the same thing. It's packed with actionable tips, strategies, and real life examples. Click the link below to learn more about it and the six free bonuses that come along with it. Get your copy now and start traveling the world on a shoestring budget.